Actually, it's better because it's got film gamma. So with the built-in color corrector, you get really cinematic looks from this camera. Uh, plus, it records Blackmagic RAW to your speed disks. I mean, it really is amazing. And now we expect it to be shipping in October, um, but you can see it's so much better than the older model. So, okay, next we have another new camera. Um, we really okay, we love the Pocket Cinema cameras, um, so I really mm -hmm. want to talk about this. Um, they produce amazing images, mm -hmm. um, but we've been thinking about a more powerful model, a uh, model oh. designed for really high-end film uh, yes. with different features. But the problem is it's a bit confusing to add another model of Pocket Camera with different features because, uh, you know, the Pocket Cameras do so many things. They're digital film cameras, but they also work as studio cameras with the ATEM Minis. They have a lot of features. Um, and it makes it a bit hard to sort of change the features because you'd lose some features and add others. So we thought what we'd do is introduce a new model specifically designed for high-end film and it uses the, block, uh, the Pocket Cinema Camera uh, Pro platform so we can use all the accessories but it's actually a bit of a different camera. So the new model is actually called Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K. It's the next generation of kind of our original cinema camera in some ways it's, but it's obviously a lot more modern but it's spiritually the same. It's designed okay. specifically for high-end digital film. Okay. It's a very portable uh, digital film camera of course. Uh, let me show you, I'll bring it out. Here it is here. There you go. So you can see the platform looks like a pocket cinema camera. Um, so you can use all the same battery extender and all the same accessories. If I'll bring out the other camera that we've got rigged up with the pocket camera accessories. There it is there. So you can see, you know, um, it's all got the same accessories, but the internal electronics have been completely redesigned. Internally, it's a completely different camera. And so the features are actually quite different. Um, now the first big change is the media. This, use, this camera uses CF Express, and those cards are super Finally. fast, really small, and they're designed for film and video. Express. I can show you the, the card here. There it is there. So just goes in the side. Um, it also has an L mount lens. Um, so it's a very shallow mount, so it's very adaptable. So you can put like EF lenses and PL Cine lenses on and a lot more. Um, you can actually use the EF lenses from your pocket cameras if you've got them. But there's also some incredible uh, lenses for L mount. So let me show you. So I'll, I'll turn on the camera. I'll take off. Yep, yeah, the lens cap is off. Now let's have a look. I'll Focus on something. So you can see it's, um, if, you, if you get it over there, it's really cinematic and the pictures are amazing. I'll do a recording. It's pretty cool, it's really nice. Um, and also it works vertically as well, so it switches around to vertical, so you can shoot digital film with vertical, which is pretty cool. Um, so obviously, talking about adapters, um, there is adapters, so I can show you there's an EF adapter here. I'll take off that. So there's an EF adapter, so we can put that on. I'll take off the all mount lens. So Blackmagic has joined the L mount alliance. I'll put the EF adapter on. It's officially now. Now the camera's an EF, um, EF camera, so I can bring out an EF lens. Here's a small one we've got. A little wide angle one. So I can put that on. Now it's uh, got an EF lens on it. So you can see it's really simple. Now that's nice. So you can see we can now frame with it a focus. There we go, we've got a nice EF lens on there. And of course you can get you know, other lens adapters like we've got a PL mount adapter here. So there's a nice big PL adapter. I'll put it on. That looks there like a full frame And yeah, now I can camera. put on big lenses like this, which I won't put on because we're hand holding it. That doesn't and look so, super dirty. But you can really rig it in some most amazing ways with PL. Now the other big thing about this camera is uh, the image sensor. So uh, the reason the images look a bit different from this sensor is the size. We've got a full frame 6K sensor it's a full in this frame. camera. So it's three times bigger than the, um, than the Super it's 35 sensor camera. in the pocket cameras. It's got a three by two aspect ratio, so it's much, um, has much larger photo sites. And we've also incorporated the latest Blackmagic color science that produces some stunning images. So I'll show you if you can, there's a camera over there, if you can just get Full a shot frame, down there, you can see three, the, two. There's the PL lens with the, so I'll remove the lens mount so you can see it better. Full frame, I hate putting three, lenses down camera. without lens caps. It just feels like the wrong way to treat glass. So you can look down there, I think if you can see the shot down there, you can get the shot of the large sensor. So you can see how nice that looks. Um, so it's a big sensor. I'll turn the camera off. Um, so I'll get rid of all these accessories and lenses. So 
You can see that the uh, large sensor is full height, so you can use the anamorphic lenses without cropping. Uh, so you get the, the look of anamorphic with, you know, the way it's done properly. Um, plus the camera has an optical low pass filter installed by default. This is a high-end camera, so having the optical uh, low pass filter installed is really nice. Uh, plus, we designed the filter specifically for this sensor, yes. so it's matched OLPF. to the sensor perfectly. Now, as far as file formats go, it records uh, recording in Blackmagic RAW with proxies. So you get Blackmagic RAW quality and color science, plus you can load things like 3D lookup tables, and they're stored in the file, but they're not burned in. So you can disable the uh, 3D LUT and DaVinci later. Gives the colorist a lot of flexibility so you can turn on and off LUTs because they're not burned in. But the camera also records real-time proxies. So this camera records two streams. Well, one is the original uh, full-resolution Blackmagic RAW, and the other one's a H.264 file in HD. So you can do things like cloud uh, uh, workflows and remote workflows in DaVinci Resolve without rendering off, needing to render dissolves. So let me show you. Um, so I just recorded a clip before, so I'll take the media card out. I'll bring it over if you can follow me down. I've got a card reader here. I can plug it into the, plug it into the USB. There it is. So I'll get rid of this. You can see the media card here. And you can see there's the Blackmagic RAW file. Because I wasn't holding it very steady. And then down inside the folder here, we've got the proxies. You can see we've been using film gamma here. So the great thing about the proxies and is it means you don't have to grade. render proxies. So you, you can just start editing immediately, which is you really nice. You can see that's a 3-2 um, aspect ratio. It's so nice to have that built into the camera. So. One thing now, um, we, one of our beta testers uh, did a shoot with the camera, and I'd love to show this to you. And uh, it really demonstrates how nice the image sensor in this camera is. So let's roll the video and you can check it out. So we got three, two, yep, and open gate. So we got open gate, of course, which means you can shoot anamorphic, but also. 4K up to 60 frames a second. Again, open gate. But this actually opens up to even more. Because now you could also adapt it to Hippon adapter using that 3-2 sensor. And now we can talk about putting Mamiya medium format. And it looks like it's going to be, it has some NDs built in. Oh yeah, this thing is really sharp. Yeah, that's exactly Angela. Get a Kippon adapter, because they build one for the L-Mount Alliance. You do that, now you got medium format. I mean, I was never going to question the images. I always knew the images were going to be great. Black magic always comes with the image. I don't know 16. I don't, I don't, I don't know about that. But it's a good look. The latitude looks great. It definitely looks great. It's so nice. I mean, you can never do it justice having a camera here in the studio, but going out on a shoot looks incredible. The images from this camera are amazing. And it even has room to grow in the future because we've got space in the camera because we haven't put things like color correctors for live production in it. It's designed specifically for high-end film. So the new Blackmagic Cinema Camera 6K will be priced at two five nine five. Twenty six hundred. Again, the prices can vary a bit depending on government it, duties and taxes. So it's just started production also, now, but it should be available. 
Uh, it's an amazing camera. You know, it's different to the pocket cameras. It's different to a lot of our other cameras. It's very advanced, but it has the benefits of the pocket cinema camera accessories. Uh, but it's got the massive image sensor. It's got the optical low pass filter installed. It's got the faster CF Express media and it records Blackmagic RAW and it records proxies. It's just so nice to use and the pictures look amazing. You know, I think it's gonna really help uh, filmmakers on tight budgets. But um, we thought we could even go further with 